Okay, so let's uh, add a material to our uh, tracer splines. If I hit play, now we have this motion, which is nice. The way you add material to spline uh, inside Cinema 4D, one of the ways is using the uh, hair material. Uh, we can make, you know, use the swift uh, nerves, but uh, we have too much lines and basically it's impossible to work with uh, swift and I think the hair material in this case gives us a bit more control that's why we are going to be using the hair material so let's uh, go to create shader and uh, down here you have the hair material if I can find it hair material so here we go here it is and I can apply this hair material to my tracer and render that's the C that we have right now which is not that nice uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, have two lights in my scene. Let's just click one of them here and control drag, click another one. This is just test uh, light so we can see how our uh, actual hair looks like. Uh, turn on air, uh, area shadow for both of the lights. And if I render right now, uh, you're going to get this result. Let's go to our hair material and work on uh, this material a bit. The first thing I'm going to turn off the specular. Uh, for the color, uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, go to some sort of, uh, we have some already colors here. So let's go to some nice uh, colors. Let's go to white. Add, I don't know, something like this color maybe. Add uh, maybe a bluish sort of color here and let's just see how this is going to work out in our uh, render if I render right now you can see we have this sort of look right now and the next thing let's add some sort of um, the thickness uh, I just want to have a bit more variation in my thickness so let's uh, uh, control click and add some points and uh, just And control click, and I'm just going to actually put the overall uh, thickness a bit less than the original. And if I render right now, uh, this is the render that we get. And also, let's um, add a bit more of length variation here. Just let's go to something like 75 and render. Now there is the length variation going on, but you can't see this, uh, and I tell you the reason right now. Let me just uh, add a kink, and that will uh, uh, just, if I render, you can see what the problem is here. The problem is you can see uh, as uh, our hair being created, being created by our tracer object by uh, tracing these polygons. If I, for you can see the polygon is here, and we assume the uh, root of the hair is uh, here and it grows to the end uh, but if I render it you can see it looks like the root of the hair is in this side so the solution really simply is uh, by uh, is uh, just to select your tracer object and you have this option called reverse sequence if you uh, check this and render again you can see now you have the right order for your objects and for your hair material so that's great the uh, kink amount is too much and I'm just going to add and make sure that these two values are closer together for our start and end point and still it's too much let's go to something like 50 and if I render again you can see this is a better result we can actually scale it down a bit the uh, noise field for this uh, kink and I think the other let's go to something like 20% and add a bit more variation let's go to 25% of variation also Still too much. Let's go to the same ten percent and the amount to fifteen percent. So there we go. That's definitely not too bad. The only thing I'm just going to actually add a bit more colors here. Let's go to I don't know really. It's really up to you what sort of colors you choose and what you want it to render out. And that's not a really nice color. Let's say let's go to just simple white color should be nice for there there we go and now you can uh, simply uh, work on the hair material more and more and get for example if you add the freeze uh, let's add something like 15% and render 
you can see how it kind of works out for you but uh, i'm not just gonna be uh, working forever on this i think it's enough and uh, we can have our render based on this uh, in the uh, next lesson we're gonna be uh, putting this uh, hole here in our uh, scene and uh, see how it's gonna look like